Today we're going to talk about the advanced publishing workflow. It is a webinar feature available to our business and enterprise customers. With APW, you can publish only top quality content which has been reviewed and approved by the right people. You can schedule content to be published at a specific date and time, so you can make sure all your deadlines are met. You can also collaborate on your content with other departments, for example, with legal and marketing. And finally, you can create publishing workflows that closely match your organizational processes. In this video, I will show you how you can set up a workflow, how you can submit a record for review, how does the collaboration work, and finally, schedule a post for publishing. Now, let's start with the setup of a workflow. In this menu, you can find workflows and I will set up a new workflow for all the pages I would like to post on my website. So I'm going to call this all pages review and the first step and the first step is marketing. Now, if I make this a mandatory blocking, it means that until the marketing reviewer has completed their approval, I wouldn't be able to move on with the workflow. So I'll select mandatory non-blocking, which means that other reviews can happen simultaneously. I'll pick Jennifer and now the second step, legal review. I'll add the second step, legal review. And I will also make it mandatory non-blocking step. This time I'm gonna choose Johnny. Now, the scope of this workflow tells us the entry criteria. In this case, I'll select everything, but I just wanna quickly show you what does the APW allow you to do. So I can select categories, so I can select all static pages or I can even give the system an indication of which are the specific pages I would like to put through that review. Now, as I said, in our case, I'm just going to make sure that we cover everything with that workflow and I'm going to click save. Let's see this in action. Let's submit the record for review. I will go to the pages and I already have an article which is in draft. Let me just double check if everything is okay, looking good. I press publish and that will automatically take the record through the workflow I just set up. All right, I can already see that my article is in a review requested status and it's pending two reviews, one from marketing and one from legal. Now let's check out how this looks like from a reviewer perspective. I've logged in as Jennifer, she's part of our marketing department and she can come to her content reviews dashboard and check out all the records that have been submitted for review. This is the one I just submitted now she can check out the page look and feel over here now this is the record that she needs to review she can check everything in detail and if she notices something that is super simple what she can do is she can actually make the change herself and voila Even though Jennifer is pretty happy with what she saw in the article, she would like to request a change. So Jennifer would like to add additional image gallery. She can also touch an image or she can simply submit her comment. Now Emma can also check her review dashboard and over here she can see the change that Jennifer has requested. She can go to the record and she can quickly add the gallery. Emma can leave a quick comment for Jennifer. When Jennifer logs into her content review dashboard, she can see that all the changes she has requested have been done. She can mark it as resolved. 
and now she can provide a sign off because all of the changes requested have been resolved. Once Johnny has provided his legal sign off as well, then the record can be published. This can be done by anyone who has access to this system. Let's say in this case, Johnny feels like the deadline is close, so he can schedule publish. He can say, I want to publish it on the 26th at 5 a.m. and schedule that publishing. And voila, we're done.